Aquaman 2, Ben Affleck. What was it like when he got on set? I mean, it's just hugs and kisses. I love that guy. So we uh, we get along too well, and um, it's very good to see him again. Tell me about Aquaman 2. What should we expect? It's too much fun. It's too much fun. We uh, A lot of laughs, way more humor. Why? <laughs> what's going on my beautiful dc brothers and sisters it's your boy the truth 31 hit like subscribe for all that dc goodness on the face naked chest of warner brothers has seen dc films get more delayed than a red old housewife's abortion appointments so without further ado let's break this bitch down and let's see what we uh, what I just hear? So if you're not aware, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has been delayed to December 25th, 2023. Gig Googly Muggly. So the sequel to Aquaman and Shazam are departing their release dates in another major reshuffling at Warner Brothers. Surprise, surprise. The James Wan director Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has been pushed back more than eight months from March 17, 2023 to December 25th, 2023. The studio announced on Wednesday. And of course, all the major stars are, are returning and, and, and the first Aquaman made over a billion dollars. So why aren't we rushing for this film to, to get released because I think there's going to be some major reshoots happening with Ben Affleck and some major reshuffling behind the scenes. And again, I don't think it's, I don't think this is confirmation that the Snyderverse is returning and they're going to follow Zack Snyder's plans going through because, like I said before, this is going to be Snyderverse light, Snyderverse light, as in keeping the cast but telling new stories going forward. Also moving, uh, the, the Shazam sequel to The Fairy of the Gods, which I was looking forward to very much, which was meant to come out in December of this year. It has landed on Aquaman's old date, March 17, 2023. The Hollywood first reported this, a month that two movies were likely to move as new Warner Brothers Discovery looks to spread out the marketing and distribution costs associated with releasing a studio tempo when asked about the time about the pending release date changes. A spokesperson for Warner Bros. declined to comment. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Water Brothers, good God, bro. They're in such a mess right now. It's like, first of all, by the time Aquaman 2 comes out, it's just like you're going to have some people that they're going to be like, okay, cool, Aquaman. Like, I don't care about this shit, bro. Like, how many times has it been reshuffled and, and moved? Like, the hardcore fans... Like myself and Snyder fans, we're going to watch it, but basically because we know Ben Affleck is going to be in it. But the majority of people, they're going to be like, okay, cool. We just have Black Panther that's going to come out before Aquaman, and, and it has their own, you know, fucking wannabe Aquaman. <laughs> no disrespect to name more fans, all 12 of you. But they're going to see, essentially, Aquaman first, and then we're going to see another Aquaman. It's like, okay, like, like, what are we doing here? Like, what are we doing here? You're killing your own momentum. For me, I think one of the reasons why they pushed it so far back is they really want to work on the VFX and they want to make sure they have a great movie by the time this releases. Uh, but, but at the same time, I'm like, really? Like, bro, like next year, almost the end of next year, like are the VFX, are they that bad? <laughs> it's like, what the hell's going on? Or is the tone really silly and goofy a la Thor Love and Thunder, or excuse me, Thor Love and Trash? So there was Aslav is looking at the dailies and he's like, yeah, we're not going to do that shit. Remove some of the comedy. Let's really you know, emphasize on the epic nature of Aquaman. And let's also make a cohesive DC Cinematic Universe and bring back all the characters going forward. That makes sense to me. All I want you old hoes to do is to retire. Same thing with Shazam, because I, I think we all agree that Henry Cavill will show up in Black Adam, and I think they want to introduce or reacclimate all the the general audiences back with the old Justly cast, like you know Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, Henry Cavill, Superman, and really make this cohesive, connective tissue that is the DC Cinematic Universe going forward. So I think that's why they're delaying all this shit, because like, listen... We're going to introduce all these characters, have them, you know, make a little more cameos, make sure the VFX is good and just plow through and, you know, try to fix the mess that Walter Hamada and Toby Eric did back in 2017, hopefully.
Get the fag off the TV. I'm not watching see? that. So that's going to be my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord to join the Truth Army. Share the video, like the video, be so kind. As always, put your comments down below and tell me what you think that you think. Man, truth, I don't know about this. I don't know why they're pushing it back. Hopefully, they're pushing it back because they want to make a more connective cinematic universe with the old Just League cast. Again, hashtag Snyderverse Light. Or they're going to work on the VFX more. Um, either way, man, it is. it just goes to show that Walter Hamada and Toby Emmerich, they really did so much damage to dc and that dc brand over at warner brothers to the point where it was almost unfixable so hopefully zaz live is fixing it. as always love you guys stay safe Mwah! truth out hurt us in a way because in reality like you guys got scammed